up, peeps? Today's going to be an adventure. I'm taking the cats to the vet and I have not taken them for years. I don't usually like filming the, with the cats anymore, but you guys have been asking me. We're gonna see how they react. The last time I took them to the vet, Nyla almost bit the vet and it was pretty, pretty bad. You ready? She has no idea. Let's go, Nyla. The struggle is real. Bamboo's already hiding from me. He does this all the time. He knows something's up. He just stopped in his tracks. Oh, baby. Oh my God, it's gonna get so Uh-oh. Oh, he went in? What? Oh my God. Oh, that worked. Wow. I feel so bad. It's like I captured him. <laughs> These poor guys. I'm so sorry. We're gonna be out soon, okay? Oh, he's trying to escape. Fun fact, before I moved to Philly in the city, I almost moved in one of these houses. One of these right here. It was really big. It had like four bedrooms, an elevator, and uh, what else was in there? It has a rooftop. I think it had like three other balconies, but there was this sick rooftop and I was like, oh my God, I wanna get a jacuzzi up there. It would have been like really difficult to do that, but that was the idea. And then I found where I live now. little leash thing that holds them together. Oh, and that house that I told you about that I almost moved in, if I had lived there, I probably would have started my cooking videos a long time ago because the kitchen in there was like huge. It had like this big open layout and the counter, if I wanted to, I could put camera gear behind it and get a good shot to film. My kitchen at my house does not have that set up, as you know. All right, we are here. I'm not sure who this is. Oh, it's bamboo. I just put them in so quick. I didn't even see. Oh, look, they have one of those leashes again. Kids. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be difficult. Nyla, come on. Okay, come on. Okay. As if they can go anywhere. They're here. They're not happy. Oh, my God. The cats are so upset. I'm gonna have to tell you guys what happened later. I have to bring them back because it did not work out at all. Oh my God, they are so mad. Uh, Nyla? Oh, that was incredibly stressful. Oh my God, guys. So what happened was, what happened was, Bamboo was first, he gets out of the crate, and I really think, like, I wish they would have let me take him out, but I think, like, that's the protocol for the vets to take him out. So they took him out. I really think if I took him out, it might have been a little better, but he was not having it. He was pissed off. He was, like, growling. I don't know if you've ever heard a cat growl, but they know how to growl, and Bamboo was growling like a dog. He was hissing. They had to weigh him on the scale. They actually covered him up. He was in a blanket, like, a covering his whole body and face so he couldn't see. And when they took the freaking blanket off his face, he just was, like, <sighs> like, like, growling so bad. He turns around and swats the vet in the face and scratched her, and she was bleeding. And I felt so bad. I just could not believe that happened because I wasn't expecting that. And then they couldn't do anything. They couldn't even give him the checkup. So they were recommending that I get medicine. It will relax him. So I have to give him that and come back. Then it was Nyla's turn. I took her out of the crate this time. I asked like, can I, can I do it? I think she'll feel more comfortable. And it was actually good. She came out on her own and then I picked her up and I put her on the scale. They weighed her. So they were ready to give her the shots. So they put the blanket over her face and she started doing the same thing that Bamboo was doing. She was like, <sighs> she was so scared. I felt so bad. I could see it in her face. Ugh. Luckily, she didn't do anything like swat them, but she was very upset. And they were about to put the vaccine in the little needle. And she just was like, Ugh, like, like jerking around. The woman was like, we have to give her the medicine as well. So now here we are sitting in the car. <laughs> I had no luck. So we have to do this all over again. I fear that because they just had a terrible experience right now. Oh, they wouldn't let me film, by the way. Even if I wanted to in that moment, there would have been no way possible that I could have picked out my camera and started filming it. It was just like 
insane. It happens. I mean, actually let me know in the comments. I want to know your stories. If you've ever had an experience similar to this with your pet, dog, cat, whatever animals you may have. I'm so curious to know. Oh, I feel so incredibly stressed. I literally can feel it in my chest. Like it, it's this weird feeling. I really wish there was a way I could have the vets just come to my house and do everything there because I know the cats will be way more comfortable that way. They don't do that, unfortunately. And by the way, they were so nice. They did a great job with the cats. It's just that's how their reaction was towards the visit. The cats were very stressed. Back home. You okay? Go back home. One different behavior they have. This is crazy. You should have seen them. They were so mad. Are you better because you know where you are? I don't know how to deal with this, guys. It's so stressful. I, I like wish I had somebody to go with me to the next appointment, but I, I, I don't. And also that would probably be even worse because I thought about asking my dad, but if I did, then they would just hate my dad forever. And they already don't love him. Ugh, these guys are incredibly difficult. And boo, you can't hit people in the face. I don't know what's wrong with them. Oh my God, Nyla. She almost bit my face too. What the heck? Oh my God. Jesus, what am I gonna do? Oh my God, guys, I've been going through like a lot of stress lately. I don't even want to get into it, but I feel like I'm about to have an anxiety attack. And that very, very, very rarely happens to me. And it's not just what happened today. That's just like a small layer added on everything. But I was thinking that I would maybe go back to the vet and film it. Although I don't want to bombard you guys with footage having the cats in it, unless you guys say that you want to see it in this video. Anyway, guys, I'm trying to think of something positive to end on. Ah, help me. I have to end on a positive note. All right, this is the positive thing. I keep trying to tell myself that you control your thoughts and I know that. So I have like a million things going through my mind right now that are all basically negative. I keep trying to switch it so that I feel better and can think positively and it's a challenge right now. It's not really working. I'm gonna continue to try that. And for you guys, if you're ever going through issues and problems or stress, try your best to stay positive and think about positive things or do something. Like I just went for a, a brief walk and it did feel a little better, but now that I'm back in the house, it's like, ah, this anxiety is coming back. <sighs> okay, I hope that helped you. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Peace on the streets, son.